May 27th, 2023. Just gonna take a quick walk about. There's the holly trees in bloom. We've had a very sizable amount of rain this week, which is helping uh, helping the health of the magnolias. Not that they're in trouble or anything, but they're more robust after getting all that rain and less likely to shed. The four hollies here, named after each child, are all trimmed up in good shape. Uh, right to left, Michael, Kelly, Bridget, and Aaron. Today, anyway. Okay, and then uh, these are cool. These are the boxwoods that uh, they're stiff and they're just pretty easy to trim and keep in shape. And there's another holly. There's the windows. Got got new LED lighting uh, since I've spoken to you last for all the outdoor lights, which is kind of kind of cool. Very expensive bulbs. They're like ten bucks a piece, but they last a long time. And here's the uh, penta flowers again, and the flax lilies I've cleaned up. And this is about as good as the yard gets. Um, you know, I just finished cleaning it up and did a lot of a lot of labor this week uh, doing trimming. And inevitably, when it rains or the wind blows. A, lot, a ton of little leaves fall, so one way or another I got them today, mostly with the blower. I was going to rake them, but the blower works great. So here's a little topiary here, unusual live oak topiary. Um, this is the north side of the house. The goal here is to have a fence here, like we have on the other side of the house. We're looking for one now, me and my handyman. Preferably aluminum fence. It's not going to rust. Yopons. I did a brief trim on the yopons this week. Just the bottoms of them. So they look kind of neat. And this magnolia is doing great. Everything's healthy. Native hawthorns. Native American hawthorns are doing fine. All the azaleas are doing fine. House is doing fine. Grass is doing fine. I'm glad to say that the grass is filling in. There's a lot of there are a lot of blotchy spots, but it is filling in very quickly with the rain that we've had in the uh, uh, the Lesco slow release fertilizer with six percent iron is doing a good job. Driveway's in great shape. I've got a power wash guy who's in his early 70s who does the power washing here and he's a he's an incredible worker. So a little branch here. Weeping yo pond with berries coming. This was trimmed this morning. Penta flowers are doing well. So my son Mike suggested that I do a horizontal video. Last time I did that, I think I started out with a vertical, then went to horizontal, and it didn't change. So I think I'm going to be okay here. Looks a lot better. The walls are in good shape. You know, every once in a while a brick falls out, and then I have to re, re cement it. But um, at the risk of over communicating which I, I'm doing. Uh, these pentas are just gorgeous, aren't they? They come in a lot of different colors. They continually come up with new flowers. Saw a couple of snakes today. They always make me jump. But they were good snakes. They're the black snakes that just basically like insects and, you know, you kind of live around here. It's definitely snake time. We had a big problem this week, a tragedy. Uh, no joke. We had a pileated woodpecker, uh, relatively young, 
I'd say about half the adult size ran into the concrete wall might have been chased by another bird who knows but uh, died instantly with a broken neck I probably shouldn't be talking about this to people looking at this thing but pretty sad really they're beautiful birds so that's the way it goes you know too bad so the bird population is still very very busy that's a cardinal we can hear so the gate on the other side is going to be about half the size of this gate just enough to open up and walk through or go through with the tractor or something and that's uh not a must have no, maybe a should have or a nice to have but ligustrum uh, I just trimmed these today they just needed a little haircut they're doing fine the tea olive is doing fine just gave that a little haircut getting big uh, the camellia which again has uh, beautiful pink rose looking flowers it only lasts a couple of days but they they bloom twice a year I gave this a little haircut this ligustrum I had to trim heavily I don't know if it's uh, past this expiration date I'm gonna give it another shot see what happens flowers are doing well this ligustrum's doing fine the perennial pentas continue to grow and flower here's another penter arrangement Again, we're getting a lot of uh, honeybees, bumblebees, butterflies. You can see a bee on that now. Very pretty flower. Check, check it out. Check it out the close up here. Not beautiful. This is a perennial, also, that one I just showed. This is a plant that's Supposedly annual, but it's doing good. The red tip flotilla is starting to tip. Very pretty. And uh, pretty soon all these will have all these red top leaves. And then they grow and they turn green. The uh, palm grove is doing fine we have a little breeze today so there's motion which is nice I love the way the birds uh, have their little traffic routes they go bopping along about five feet off the ground sometimes I'm in the I'm in the traffic route and they come close to running into me but they don't see this one just I don't think you saw that but just scoot it over because I'm a little close. But hopefully you can hear all the birds in the background. So this this is a a live oak arrangement that I trimmed and it's just filling in really nice. I mean it's a just a just a native tree, but it's looking really good. And this is one of my favorites, the uh, myrtle oak. Just the leaf pattern it's from the live oak family but myrtle oak is uh, rare for Florida and since we since the arborists have done their job the base is two or three inches larger and now uh, the highest that these trees grow is 40 feet supposedly and this is approaching 45 feet and growing like crazy so that's pretty cool this live oak is doing great this live oak here is doing amazing it's over 40 feet tall now 
they're going to fill in sooner or later the, that the tall thin one but it's still growing vertically I don't know how much it's more it's going to grow but it's it's a beautiful tree this area here has been all cleaned up in the corner that's another tea olive that's been cleaned up my little blueberry bushes are doing fine just planted them maybe a month ago they look pretty healthy I'm like they're they're gonna they're gonna be okay so that's that's good Let's see if we can see what time it is here approximately okay it's about between 11 and 12 this is noon time this is x1 xy so it's a little past 11 i'd say about 11 15 according to the sundial and i'd say that's maybe within 15 minutes of the actual time because that keeps changing as the position of the sun changes so easy to adjust okay so this is it this is a rather quick update uh, this is about as good as the yard can look right now and I uh, hope everybody's doing well have a great day thanks for looking